Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you the basics of box braids. Basically, um, it's very beginner friendly because guys, I don't know how to do hair professionally. This isn't me like showing you how to like how to do it in the sense that I'm professional. This is not professional. Sometimes my hair might not be that great. Like sometimes the technique is not correct sometimes it just doesn't look that great but honestly i just see this as a platform where i can just share my experience and that's what i just aim to do in this video i basically try and teach you guys how i manipulate hair in the sense that it can go longer than you think you might have like expressions which i use in the video um let's say it's about 16 inches you can actually pull it there's a method where you can pull it so it's about 22 inches longer, or maybe even 30 inches longer. This is about 30 inches. Let me show you guys. So they come up to my bum. This is really good because you won't have to buy as many extensions as you think. But I, I wanna say I used about five, five packs for this whole head. Because I've when you, you'll see in the video that I've got quite full hair, guys. My hair is grown. So I use about five to six packs for this hair. Um, it took me 11 hours, like I said before. I'm going to show you guys just how I learned how to do it by watching and just, yeah, just trying. So it's trial and error, guys. Trust me, you're going to see me make loads of mistakes. Sometimes, like, I have to do, I have to do one, one braid, like, three times just so I can get it correct like if I can do it so can you so that's what that's what this is all about you know so thank you guys so much for your support I really hope you enjoyed this video um, let me know what you think in the comment section and let's jump straight into this video sorry for the long introductions I really don't like long introductions but I'm gonna go to voice over mode now so I'll see you guys later Bye. Hey guys, so um, I'm starting with stretched hair and I'm just showing you guys the kind of combs I use. Um, obviously, I've got my duck bill clips and the kind of accessories I'm going to use. Um, I put Cantu leave-in conditioner in prior to combing my hair out. But yeah, I was really, I was really chuffed here, really chuffed because my hair is really grown. But um, as you can see, I'm using Expressions in color six and I cut it into two. So the initial length, I just cut it right in the middle. And what you wanna do is feather it. So this is probably like feathered already. And you kind of just wanna pull it. And I'm just measuring how long it's going to be um, by just putting it against my head and just seeing the length. So what you wanna do is literally get the two sides and pull it. I'm so silly, I get my comb and one technique i've one tip i can like help you guys with is parting my parting is not that great but one thing i've learned is that um when you part just go with one straight route yes and you're more or less guaranteed to get a really good clean line <laughs> And then I get my clips and I put my hair back so it doesn't get in the way. Okay, I'm gonna just break it down here. So this is slow motion of how I put the extensions in my hands. So basically it's a knot. As you can see again, it's a knot and I just kind of put my first, I don't even know how to explain it, I can't lie. You're just gonna have to watch it. But I'm gonna break it down one more time. But as you can see, the three arrows here indicate the braid and the middle is basically where your hair is going to be. This arrow that's standing is where your hair is going to meet the extension. And you can see I'm holding it with my thumb and my um, forefinger, I think that's the word. So as you can see, I put the middle on top of my hair and in slow motion, 
the arrow where the hair was initially is where my natural hair is joining on with the extension that's the best way i can explain it but um how i learn is by visually watching and practicing on my own head so i would advise you if you really really wanted to learn how to do um braids to definitely practice as much as you can and watch as much as you can and i'm telling you one day you're just gonna get it because for a really long time i didn't get it but yeah this is just how it looks um this is actually like an old school technique there's definitely new ways of braiding but um where you can kind of part your own hair into three i'm gonna show you guys again how i do it so you want to get your hair place it in the middle with the other braid and then you kind of braid it all together guys make sure you don't do this when you're braiding make sure um you don't like create looser braids towards the bottom when you braid make sure you detangle as you braid because it can really get knotted at the back I really should have gone back on this one to redo it because it, was, it wasn't very tight um, at the root but I just I couldn't I couldn't be arced I, could, I can't lie to you I just couldn't be arced really <laughs> that was real like if only you could actually snap your fingers and half of your head would be braided but as you can see um, I've done the back um, and I'm just gonna start from the crown and work my way up to my edges um, this is a, maybe an easier way to see how I braid so you yeah, kind of just want to make sure you attach your own natural hair to do what to avoid oh yeah so avoid this guys make sure it's tight at the root or else you're gonna have to do it again this one i actually did like five times for it to be super super like on but obviously you guys don't see that um like i said guys it's all about trial and error and practicing and practicing and i promise you you're gonna get it how I learned is literally just by watching YouTube videos and I got better and better, so yeah. at this point i was absolutely knackered but i was so grateful i just had one more piece to go and it took me 11 hours to complete this hair i started at 5 p.m and finished at 5 a.m the next day and i only had an hour break like it's just crazy it was crazy it was crazy but as you can see I'm, I, I was legit sleeping like i'm not even this is not a joke i was legit sleeping wow Twelve hours. What? I started at five yesterday, five p.m. yesterday, and I'm finishing at five a.m. this morning. I'm so happy that I can actually braid my bald patch. This is this is an achievement, guys. I can braid my bald patch. My hair's growing. Of hours to do braids this is why I don't do people's hair it doesn't even hurt this is why I like doing my own hair because I know what I can handle there's no tension 
like you just put as much pressure as you want in the meantime guys i'm going to bed so when i wake up i'm gonna put it in hot water so i'm alive and well i'm happy um i'm just taking my hair out from the bun um and i'm just kind of making sure the ends are super clean braided all the way to the end some of them weren't but i was okay with that didn't really matter i'm just kind of tying the top and i'm dipping the back first make sure you have a towel guys this process can actually be very dangerous if you're not careful um so you kind of just want to dip it in for about 30 to 60 seconds and you just kind of want to dab it with some um with a towel and make sure it's super dry it'll never be fully dry but look at the difference can you see the before look at the before and after it makes a huge difference guys make sure you don't skip this step because it's really really like major so yeah as you can see all of it is finished um i'm just gonna add my little decorations all over my hair I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to comment like share and follow me on instagram at bola martins underscore and add me on snapchat at bola underscore m so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video i'm not too sure what hair to do next but have a lovely day have a lovely week god bless you guys and i'll see you guys next time bye